G'day Off Trackers, welcome back to another product review. This one uh, isn't so much one product, but I wanted to really touch on these sort of portable power stations that I'm seeing pop up, the all-in-ones. Uh, I'll, have, I'll basically have one magically appear just here. So one of these is what I'm talking about where you've got the inverters, you've got the DC-DC chargers built in it. I think they have an AC charger as well uh, and they have the battery all in one. I mean, they're not bad, but to me, it's a concern because I think they're using a lot of smoke and mirrors to throw people off. As we know, lithium batteries, which is what's in them, run on amp hours. You know, everyone dis discloses with this style battery how many amp hours it is. Yet with these things, there's a blooper for you. Yeah, nice. <laughs> with the portable power stations, a lot of them use watt hours, which is because they're putting it in 240 volts rather than 12 volt. What that does is not allows you to know how big the battery is. And if you look at the size of them compared to a lithium battery and compared to an inverter and compared to a DC-DC charger, look at all this stuff here you have to try and fit into the little box, you're gonna to have to give somewhere. And where you're giving is in the worst place possible. You're giving on the battery size. So I tried to work it out. It is quite hard to do the maths uh, when swapping from watts to amp hours. And it looks like they're carrying somewhere around 40, 25, 40, uh, and maximum sort of 50 amp hour batteries, which everybody these days should know isn't sufficient. So the best way to do it is literally the way that I've done it. So why have I gone this way? Uh, well, basically as my setup's changed, I now needed to evolve with it and having a permanently mounted charger and battery no longer worked. We have the horse float where we need to put the battery in it. We have the caravan. Um, we want extra backup for that. We've also got the cruiser where we need a battery for that as well. So I just went, I need something that's fully portable. And that's when I started to come up with a solution and. This was the best one. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I have, it was about seven years electrical experience uh, prior to this. So I do know a fair bit about electricity. So I feel like I can talk about this stuff and I'm not just a random off the street talking about random stuff. So I wired this up all myself as well. Uh, so to run through what I got and why I got it. So I've got the hardcore battery in here. Uh, I went that one because you actually do, can fit quite a large battery in here. I think it's 135 amp hour. I'll put it up on the screen what it actually is. But I got the maximum you could put in there. The main reason I went the hardcore is something you want to look at is cycles on a battery. There's basically a few key points. Cycles is one. So battery cycles that the battery can do. That'll tell you the life expectancy of the battery. The higher cycles the longer that battery is going to do. And that's basically cycling through, not from zero, but from low to high. So this one had 4,000, something like that cycles, which was well above uh, your all spark, well above, who's that one that Kalen, Kalen uses? iTech World. Yeah, iTech World, theirs was only 200, 2,000. Kings, 2,000. So they're all sort of sitting around 2,000 where this basically did double. So. One of the main reasons I got it, the other is it has an unbelievable app on it, which I'll put up on the screen here for you so you can watch as I'm clicking away. Uh, so it tells you the percentage on the main screen, tells you the voltage, capacity left, and tells you if it's healthy or not. And then on the next screen over, it'll tell you the current draw that's happening from it, if it's charging, decharging, that sort of thing. So it is just basic, but if you're running a portable setup, you need data, unfortunately. These things don't work on lithium. They work on lead acid, but not on lithium. So that won't tell you the percentage you got left. So to me, Bluetooth was the way to go. I looked at a Bluetooth shunt. So, so anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's a, it's a little device that you can put in between the battery uh, and the charger, and it lets you know how much charge is left in this and sends it Bluetooth to your phone. The price of one of those was the same as upgrading to a Bluetooth battery with it built into the actual battery. So that's why I went the hardcore, hasn't let me down, it's a really good device. Then I paired it with their battery box uh, just because there was a better one. So the Kickass battery box looks a lot nicer. It has a screen that works with lithium, but it only works with their lithium because there's a cord that then plugs into the battery, which you don't have that port in any other battery. So hence why I went, just went their battery box. It gives you, 
your four Anderson. We will be actually testing the bigger output. So it has a big one on the side here. I'll show, turn it around. So that's if you want to plug in an inverter, which what we plan on doing with the caravan is literally plugging in an inverter and running an induction cooktop outside because our caravan all has internal cooking. So it's got that, it's got a couple of cigarette sockets and USB ports as expected, but it is a proper big lithium battery, which you can get if you're running fridge and some lights, what a typical sort of weekend away camper, I would say you should be pretty safe four days running this without any charge. If you get nervous about charge, then you can pair it with just a solar blanket like I've got down here, Lloyd. I think Lloyd was indicating I had spit on my lip just then. <laughs> I could have been <laughs> silently. So there is a solar blanket down here, which you can pair that. You can get an MPP regulator with those, or you can use a DC-DC charger with it uh, that has an MPP built into it. So you pair that while you're away, top up the battery. What that basically does is uh, cancels out like a fridge, if you're using a fridge, cancels out the drawer of that. So what I did to make it really easy and no wiring, Kickass actually sells this 22 amp AC charger. So really good piece of gear. It's a bit slow to charge. It is only 22 amp hours uh, where your inner drive DC, DC charger, AC, they run 40. So almost double the amount of charge going in. But for what, what, what I use it for, it works really well. Cause what I do is as soon as I get home, well, I actually do it during the day. So it uses my house solar, plugs into 240, recharges your battery box. Way you go. So you charge it up before you go, run it for four days, come back, charge it again. Or you can do what I've done here. You do need a bit of skill to build this, but I grabbed the DC DC charger out of our car and turned it into a full portable unit. Unfortunately, I haven't seen anybody that's doing this yet, which was why I decided to do it myself. Uh, and all I've got is a solar in, a main in from the car. So all I have to do is literally hook this up to the battery and it's all on safety switch that charges it up so I heavily recommend if you, you're thinking of just a weekend away system please go one of these don't get fooled by all the other systems that are like they, they look amazing don't they Lloyd yeah they I mean the the marketing and the amount of influencers that are now running these things yeah. I think is far greater than the actual usage of them yeah so we were at the shops today and we actually saw one and they, they look nice and neat, don't they? They look amazing. Yeah. But then I actually, convenient enough, the shop we were at had a whole bunch of different size lithium batteries set up. And I said to Lloyd, a lithium battery is a lithium battery. Unfortunately, they have cells. The cells are a certain size. You can't make it smaller yet. People are working on it, but they're not there yet. And I said, you tell me what size battery can fit in there. And we worked out it looked like about a 25 amp that could fit in there. Tops. Yep. So... Yeah, be careful if it's not willing to advertise the DC capacity, the amp hours, I wouldn't be buying it because that's them basically trying to trick you to buy in the unit and then you sit there and go, geez, in half a day a day, it's completely burnt out. Do this and you'll be happy. I've been over the moon by it and I run a fridge off it once a week and I use about 4% of the battery capacity. That's it, that's the review. I hope you joined that uh, and Lloyd and I will be back for some more videos. He's gonna be appearing more often. So I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye for now.